Okay, uh, I threw my new crank in with just three of the bearings uh, just to check, make sure everything spins okay, uh, works nice. And I put a put my number one piston in with no rings in it on one of the new rods. And I wanted to check my clearance uh, for the rod bolts because uh, the stroke is about a quarter inch longer than stock. And you can see it looked pretty good. And I, I measured it. Um, at this little cheapo uh, spark plug gauge from a few years ago, and the sixty thousandths, I could just barely force it through. So I thought it was pretty good. But then when I looked, I noticed that my connecting rod wasn't all the way to the edge. Oh no! So it doesn't hit, but boy, it like it like kisses it. So I'm going to have to uh, get the grinder out, my little Dremel, or maybe just a file, I don't know. But I need at least 60 thousandths clearance to be safe. And I'm, I'm going to probably get a little more than that just to be safe, because I don't want anything bad to happen. Okay, I've finished uh, clearancing for my, um, my connecting rod bolts. Didn't have to take much off at all. As you can see, uh, got plenty of room there. Uh, right when it crosses, right when that rod bolt passes the uh, cylinder wall, it's going vertically. I don't know if you can see that. So all I did was hold my, uh, my Dremel bit vertically. Like that, so I don't know if it's focusing. And it's right on the, on like a corner, right on the edge of the cylinder, so it cuts in really fast. And it took less than a minute just to take that off, and then I, I just round it off uh, very, very lightly just to get any kind of little edge, sharp edge off of there. I don't want any sharp edges. So uh, I'm gonna, gonna try these, try the rods in each one of the cylinders, just make sure I have enough clearance, and then take it all back apart again. I took, I took everything out of it. I took the crank out uh, while I was grinding it, so it didn't make a mess. I didn't want any dirt getting on my crank, but I still got to clean this, I'll clean the block when I'm done. Okay. Oh, let me show you one other thing too. When I mocked up, um, I mocked up the rod, the rods in the first two cylinders, well, cylinder one and cylinder five, and I marked it with a Sharpie where they were going to hit. And then um, I took those back out, took the rods out, so I still had the crank in there, and then I lined up, I just took my straight edge put some marking tape on it and then if you hold this like that I just held it make sure it was tight against the, the surface the, uh, I don't know, the thrust surface I guess the side the side surface where it rubs against the, the rod and then I just marked it and that way I could just go right down the line mark the left edge and the right edge and the center of where I wanted to grind out, hone out. And I just did that for each one. I did it on both sides and it's symmetrical. So I did the same thing, marked it down there like that. So that's how I did that.